pleased to have an opportunity to join fellow Christians here. As you have been told, I know that I used to be a member of this church. Uh, and I've not not loved it's only that sometimes the pressures of duty, most of the times the Sundays have not been around, and that's why I've not been here. Those who have been members of this church for a long time they know that I was, uh, we have been here. And even during the reconstruction of this church, I worked very closely with the other members of the church here. And we are happy to be back here. The last time I was in this church, uh, one of our members with whom we had been praying for a long time, Mrs. Jenny Keanu, had passed on. And we came here to bid her farewell. But then, uh, you continue with life. I'm happy to see so many familiar faces and some also new faces here. And we want to thank the Lord for having brought us this far. As everybody who is in, in Jerusalem knows where we are, where we come from, as a country, except unless you are a, a visitor in Jerusalem. <laughs> But um, we want to thank the Lord for having brought us so far. Uh, we've gone through a very challenging period in our country, going through election campaigns, but we also want to thank the Lord that the campaigns have been peaceful. And the elections also have been peaceful so far. And we just want to hope that uh, this peace will prevail even after the elections are over because we are part of the person of one nation and we want Kenya to be even stronger going forward. I have just a message you want to share and I will quote from St. Francis of Assisi and he says, make me an instrument of your peace. And that's what he says, Lord make me an instrument of your peace. Where there's hatred, let me sow love. Where there's injury, pardon. Where there's doubt, faith. Where there's despair, hope. Where there's darkness, light. And where there's sadness, joy. That is what uh, St. Francis of Assisi said at that time. And I think that those words I'm very true to our situation here today. And that is what me as a person want to see happen. That we become an instrument to bring peace, to heal, to reunite, and to keep the hope alive for our country. We sang our national anthem, which says that, Lord bless this land of ours. Justice be our shield and defender. We made well in unity, peace and liberty. Plenty we found within our borders. And in the Bible, the land where plenty is found is called Canaan. <laughs> and that's why we said, we in the Azimil of Moja, Kenya, want to take our people across the River Jordan into Canaan. And we hope that we will be able to enjoy life in Canada. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. We can take our seats.